Okay, good morning. You know where we are. We're at Always in Stitches in Noblesville, Indiana, and it's Meet Me at the Sew Machine, except for today it's Meet Me at the Cutting Table because here we are at the Cutting Table. We're not going to do any sewing. I'm going to prepare you for our adventure into four-inch blocks. That's going to be a fun and exciting time. I don't know how long we're going to do this, but uh, every Monday that I'm here, or and that Peter's here, we're going to do a four-inch block for a while until we get enough that we uh, are bored with it, which might not be ever. So uh, <laughs> we're going to use this book as our basic text, okay? And so because we are using the book and the measurements uh, in the book are copyrighted, I'm not going to be able to give you measurements, so if you want measurements, you're going to have to buy the book. Oh, look, that's a little gimmick there, isn't it, to sell the book. And I wish we had a hundred of them in stock, but you know, right now, we only have one in stock because people have been buying them. So we've ordered uh, some more. They should be in this week, no problem. Uh, so either call Jennifer or come in, uh, but maybe call first to see when they're going to be here because they should be in any time. We ordered them last week and they're pretty fast in getting their stuff here to us. So, uh, <clears throat> but what I wanted to talk to you about today was fabric selection. Okay. If you want to do yours like two colors, oh, that would be scrumptious like red and white, green and white, something like that. That'd be just, oh, that'd be beautiful. I'm going to do mine scrappy, just like she did in the book. Now, in the book, she uses Civil War fabrics, Civil War reproduction fabrics. And we have tons of that here in the store. We have a whole wall of nothing but reproduction fabrics. So that's kind of fun. Another thing that would be cute is 30s reproduction. If you did it all in 30s reproduction and you picked one background and then did it all scrappy. Now I'm going to do mine scrappy background and scrappy fat colors. Uh, and I'm going to use, I have a huge collection of Kim Dill fabric. And uh, we used to carry her fabric and we haven't gotten any in for a while. But this is one of my collections that I have. And I'll be bringing several more collections, but this is just really yummy. But what really draws me to the Kim Deal fabric is the scale. The scale of the patterns are very small. And when we're talking about making a four inch block, now that's pretty large, but if I if I cut that into little pieces, see, I could even fussy cut some of that. Uh, <clears throat> but I love her colors. I love the scale. And again, when we're talking about four inch, the whole block is four inch. It may have 38 pieces in it. And it's going to equal four inches. You know those pieces are going to be tiny. And so you kind of need a tiny um, scaled fabric. And 30s reproduction has tiny scales. Civil War has tiny scale. And then this Kim Deal, which I, I just simply love, love, love this. I'm not going to show you all of them. But what I really want to tell you is that when you pick a line, if you don't pick one fabric for the background, you're going to need some small prints for the background. And it just so happens, I bought one of these, we have a fat quarter bundle of small scale backgrounds right here. There's some cute horseshoes. Oh, I love the horseshoes. Don't you love, and there, what's that called? The whip? Mm -hmm. and, then, and then there's a little hat. English writing hat. And then there's an itty bitty, teeny weeny uh, horseshoe. And then here's one with stars. There's another colorway of the horseshoe. So you can see that this is a nice little collection. If you need to supplement your Civil Wars or whatever colors you're going to use and you need some good backgrounds, we have these. This is $50 for the bundle. A uh, really good deal. Then we got in this, uh, is this Tilda? No. This isn't Tilda? Ooh, I thought it was. No. Okay, well, it's beautiful. Anyway, um, what is it? This one is by Marcus Fabrics, Time Worn Toolbox. Time Worn Toolbox. Look at the small scale and how soft this palette is. 
I adore this. It's not what I decorate in, but I think it's really, look at that soft yellow. Now this is a humongous print that you probably wouldn't want to use in your blocks, but what about for a border or sashing? See, that would be a good one. We have this all on the bolts, but we I, I thought I'd bring in the bundle to just show you the bundle. And then here's just a really a totally different way you could go. Look at these bicycles. That's so fun. That's right? really fun. Yeah. And what would be fun is uh, to use maybe a solid uh, background. Yeah. You know, you could look at that stripe. Oh, couldn't you do something fun flag. with those stripes? So and then uh, here's some little flower baskets so you could fussy cut. I love these little posies. Aren't those pretty? Some of them are, are really large scale. I don't know. Well, no, not too many. Not too many. This, that's pretty large. Mm -hmm. I probably wouldn't use that unless I fussy cut something. But anyway, I love that herringbone. Is that what called herringbone? I think it is. Dog's tooth. Dog's tooth, hound's tooth, whatever. It depends whether you're in the UK or not. Whether, wherever you are. We're and right how big here it is. In, if in it's a small tooth, it's puppy tooth. Oh, puppy. Puppy. <laughs> Speaking of puppies, Chloe. Had to take Chloe for a walk yesterday because, you know, her daddy's had back surgery. So, uh, Chloe and I went for a nice long walk and we met a uh, captain. Did Chloe have a good time? Chloe had a great time. Who's Captain? Captain is a puppy that lives in Chloe's neighborhood. <gasps> and he's a miniature... Um, I forget. Min Pen? Uh, miniature Schnauzer? No, he's not a miniature Schnauzer. That's what Chloe is. Um, I, Collie. A miniature Collie. He's a oh. miniature Collie. So... Very cute. Look at this line. Now, this is a new line we just got in. Uh, it's called Flirt. Is that what it's called? F-L-I-R-T yes. by Sweetwater. Yeah, it's got, it's got it. these cute hearts, but it's got these let words, uh, those hearts. Look at how cute this is. Already, oh, look at that. We're already sold out of the charm packs on this collection. Oh, we are? It went fast. Well, you would want we more than charm packs. And, we have layer cakes and yardage, though. Yeah. You know, I don't know if a layer cake would be enough to do um, all the all the ones we're going to do, but you could add solid black to this. You could add Ooh, uh, solid red. You, I mean, you could add things. And then this is a uh, farmer's daughter by uh, Pam Buddha, and I love Pam Buddha's fabric. And uh, this is another, this is like a Civil War reproduction. And this would be good if you added this in with it. Because this one doesn't have a lot of lights in it. You know what I mean? But look at the small scale. This is the one that you wanted to get one yard of all the prints. Uh-huh. I remember when this came in. Yeah. I got I got fat quarters of all oh, this. Oh, I love that print. Yeah, I love that print too. I love all those colors. Oh, that's so, a good red. Yeah. So, very nice uh, uh, print. So, we have lots of fabrics to choose from. You know, you could always go in your stash and see what you have. And uh, just gather some fabrics together, put them in a bin, and get ready for the adventure because we're going to start now. I'm not going to be here. I leave a week from today. So I will be here next Monday. We'll do our first walk next Monday. And then I won't be here that next Monday. If Peter and I have time to film something on Friday for you that he could load on Monday, we'll try and do that. We'll see what we can come up with. But if you miss me on... Uh, uh, not next Monday, but the next Monday. I'll be back. Have no fear. Cappy keeps saying, oh, you're going to stay in Texas. You're going to leave us and go to Texas. I'm not leaving. I'm not going to Texas. You're stuck here with me. And you just, that's just the lumps of life you have to put up with me if you want to watch my YouTube channel. And I appreciate you. You don't know how much I appreciate everybody tuning in each week to hear me just go on and on and on. And on. It's just, I can't believe it. They have me playing in the yarn department. I feel so sorry for the people working in the yarn department that have to listen to this mouth every single day over and over. At least you guys can speed me up, shut me off, do whatever you want to do. So, uh, but I do appreciate you. I really do. Peter and I have a lot of fun doing these videos together and uh, we hope we can do it for many, many, many moons to come. So, have a good week. Get scrounge around, find you some yummy, delicious, small-scale fabric to start our adventure in four-inch blocks.